Hi, my name is Mr. Finneymore, and yesterday was a very interesting day. I was just playing some Dead by Daylight, minding my own business, playing with some great friends, until I noticed that someone told me that XQC was playing Dead by Daylight. So I decided to say, you know what? I'm gonna react to his gameplay. I hope you guys like what you're gonna see. No way do I think that XQC is a bad player. I just think that he was put into some pretty interesting situations where he had a challenge. I will say though, the three games that I did watch, he completely went crazy on two of them. One of them though, just a note for clarification, I'm just showing you two different games that he played. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and leave a like if you do like the video. Um, chat, when I know chat, guys, with that lullaby, it's not, guys, it, Huntress is bad with, um, with, I guess Iron Maiden is not good. Okay, so here's the problem. The reason that's why Iron Maiden, he thinks he gets it, but he doesn't. The reason that's why Iron Maiden is really good for someone like, uh, like Trickster or even Huntress is because specifically, Huntress thrives off of that speed. You need that speed to grab your hatchets, get in and get out. And if someone tries to hide, obviously the exposure effect is really good. Less time in the animation, agreed. Because time is of the essence in this game. The most important thing that you can actually do is get those hits in as fast as you possibly can. I wanna see what else he runs. Whispers is not bad, but you don't need, oh, he's running Iron Grasp. Why are you running Iron? I mean, Iron Grasp isn't bad, but like, Iron Grasp is only good when you combine it with Agitation. I, I, that's a fact, that's a fact. Okay, it decreases the time required to wind up. That's really good. Flower Babushka is actually really nice. So he's got Dark Mist, right? They've got a White Ward here. They got, they've got this, they've got this, and they got Dark Mist. Dark Mist is not a bad choice, but I would probably use something to separate the survivors like Shroud of Separation, but that's just me. So this is XQC right now playing as a Huntress. The Huntress has barbecue and chili, Hex, uh, Huntress lullaby. They have he has whispers and he also has iron grasp. This is what he has. Yeah, okay, whispers are close. You know that they're close by. Whispers disappear, which means that you know that they're not over there. Hi, Mr. Cow. Did you have a nice Christmas? Thanks for the streams, Lord Juicer. XQCL. He's not new at DVD. He's playing and he has a couple of good perks. He, he loves the game. He says he's addicted to it. But I'm trying to watch this game right now and see how he plays. Because he doesn't like playing the game because of Huntress. I want to see how he plays. I think I saw a head right there. Guys. Minus 30 silly champ. He knows that they're close by. Whispers is Where going the off. the fuck are they? When when you have something like whispers, right? Looking around the area is not a bad idea. But for someone like Huntress, you don't need whispers. If anything, if you're trying to get some good information off of this, Lethal Pursuer is a good way to start it off. Um, or even something like uh, Corrupt Intervention. Now, the reason why I say Corrupt Intervention is because it's simply because of the fact that Corrupt Intervention closes three generators off off rip and is able to actually bring the survivors closer to you gets them out into the open and at that point you're able to actually um gain an advantage from that situation but we're gonna keep watching he's got he knows that he has whispers on so he knows that they're close by they're hiding because of the fact that he's close So they got rid of his Huntress Lullaby, which is fine. Chat, sure, I might have actually lost already. I see him. You see him? Go for him. He's behind the branch over there. You see him. What? Nice throw. One nice hit. Oh, close. Close. That's okay. Really, dude? Close. He didn't dodge. He, wasn't, he didn't need to dodge. He you hit the dodge. logs. He's doing a smart idea, though, with, with the palace. Nice! Nice. You don't need to focus on your hatchets every single time. Go in with your axe. It's fine. It's Genius. Fine. Good job. Good job. That was really good. That was really impressive. Look around. You got barbecue. It's about to pop up. Look around. Whispers are on. Somebody's close. At this point, at this point, he knows that Whispers is on, so he's going to go for somewhere, somewhere that's closer. I see barbecue and chili on. I immediately start looking around, looking looking around the different area because whispers could be on, yes, but it's harder to find somebody 
without having actual knowledge as to where they are. I would use barbecue and chili to see if anybody else is on a generator at that point. I go forward. I go for, I go straight for it. Unless he finds somebody right now. Until someone uh, mentioned Sar. it. Nice. Go for the hatchet. We all dead. I'm so sorry. Nice! Nice! Oh my god! That is that is like through the gap stunt man fucking hatchet throw right there, bro. Crazy this game. Fucking genius. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He did a really yeah. good job so far, by the way. So I just want to let you know, he did a really great job with his throw, with his with his axe, with his hatchets. This is a good game so far. And basement. Oh, this is fucking. Pro this is a problem. This is a problem for them. Wait, chat. How are they already done with two gens? That's. They're done with two gens because you don't have something like corrupt intervention to stop the gens from 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 working. Also, your perks. Let me show you. Let me show you what his perks are, just in case. You guys didn't see it. His perks currently are these perks right now. You have Whispers, Barbecue, Huntress Lullaby, and Iron Grasp, which they already got rid of his Huntress Lullaby. So at the moment, you have no regression perks. That's the problem that he's facing at the moment. If he had regression perks, this wouldn't be a problem for him. But that's why they're getting gens done so much faster. Absolutely insane. It's insane, but that's that's oh, yeah, what happens when you don't have a, a regression perk. You need a regression perk in order for I'm this thing go to go. No, they didn't go for the save. <laughs> they didn't go for the save because they knew that you were close. It's bad for them. They should have gone for the save the second that the Nancy got down, but they were more focused on getting that gen done to cause more stress for you. And this girl is doing God knows what. She's about to put herself in a really bad situation. Nope. Nope. Nice. 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 Yes. Okay. Well. Good protection. Good protection. Oh, that's not gonna work. In this situation, proxy camping, obviously, like that's what he's doing, but he's also going after the Jake. He's like, that's just what's happening. I mean, why, why wouldn't you guys at this point? Why wouldn't I camp? True. Are you gonna go for him now? Good, well, good. He was trying to see if he can cause more pressure w uh, with them. That's that's smart. Wait, where's the other cat? Is that there? Basement now. At the moment, he's not doing a bad job. Nobody's going for the for the hook uh, for the unhook though. Bill is, or did they? Did they just do it? I think they did. I can't see because his camera's like right in the way of the other survivors. They all left. Okay, yeah. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. Boom! That is so big. That is so big. Three gens up right now. Bill is about to die. This is huge. This is huge for him. Where are you going, dumb fuck. This is huge. Who's gonna go for the boon totem? Where are you going, bitch. Yeah, he's dead. No DS yeah, like running. Put him over here because this hook is already done. This, this gen's already done. You know. Smart. Smart. There's no point in being there because that gen's already done. That's that's smart. That's good. That that's that's good Wait, on him. Just... No, he. So I don't think he knows, but he died on second hook. He died oh, because he was on second hook when you when you came back, after hooking the Nancy in the basement. So far, so far the pressure right now is on the survivors at this point. Like th this is really bad for them because you've got one person dead. You only have three gens left. This is straight even. This is an issue. And Jake just got hit. This is this isn't good. And he just wow. Wait, I know that the, the the reaction just came out. The gifted thing just came up. But watch this, clean shot, right there. Second, right now, boom, right there on that wall. Over, right there on the opposite so side. Bad, so bad. That was clever. Nice job, X. Holy shit. He knows that they're trying to be in the middle generator. Oh my god, Nancy, what are you doing? Lady? What is she doing? She gave up. She 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 gave up. That's what she did. She gave up. Yep, told you she gave up. She disconnected. Okay. She DC because she gave up. Straight up.
Is this live or recording? This is actually from today. So apparently he played two two games as Huntress. This one was supposed to be really good, and then the de the, the the saloon was the problem where he's like he he quit. So we're gonna see what happens. Boom. Dead. Gone. At that point, unless he has DS, which he probably doesn't, because he's crawling away. Whispers. Wait, I think it's bad. Whispers is not good. I, as as someone who's played this game since 2017, this hunt like Whispers is not a good perk specifically for someone like Huntress. It would be fine, fine, for somebody else for a different killer, but for Huntress, this is not a good perk. Is Whispers considered bad? I think it's really, really good early game. You can really chase down your kills and, and make sure people aren't doing certain stuff. Yeah. Nurse's Calling would be better. The reason why Nurse's Calling would be better is because as a Huntress, if you throw hatchets and they're far away and they're trying to heal up as you injured them if because they got away from you, it's possible. It happens sometimes. Having Nurse's Up would be better for you because you can just heal up and mend yourself and you can see them while they're doing that. I think it's really good to navigate your games without getting lost for like a But the problem for him too is that he doesn't have any gen regression perks. Huntress Lullaby is not a gen regression perk. It is just a way for him to blow up. That's how it happens. Where's last guy, huh? If anything, guys, just invite somebody else that might that might that might help you out with that situation. Or perks are great on Huntress. Agreed. Barbecue and chili's perfect. Yeah, he's probably just gonna wait for the hatch, right, chat? No, he knows that you're proxy camping. I want to be a refund. The guys, they, they, they got rolled, man. Unless he did find Hatch. Because he can't find Hatch right now because there's three gens. If it was one gen, he'd be able to find it, no problem. But at the moment, he can't find it because, like I said before, it's three gens. Okay. I have uh, Whispers on, which means the guy, the last guy's probably... Does anyone else lick See? Look at that. Whispers goes away because the, because the survivor was on the hook. So he was circling around that bill the entire time thinking that somebody was there, but it wasn't. It was just Bill. All the flavor of a Dorito and then eat it afterwards. Yeah, of course. Damn, he camped it. He, he, he found it. He didn't camp it. He found it. So he thinks that he camped it, which would make sense if it wasn't at the end, like if it was one of the different updates. But with this, with this update, the survivor cannot find the hatch unless they have one generator done that's when it that's when it spawns but the huntress he, he as a huntress was still sticking in that area thinking that the whispers was finding that nancy but it was actually finding the jake instead so when nancy was doing that entire time was finding the hatch and found the hatch guys, what, what are even the odds of this happening like, like what, what can you even do here i mean you had well, someone right, how dc do you, how, how do you counter this you had you had Bill on second hook, kill, downed him, and immediately killed him because he unhooked somebody else. You had Nancy that wanted to DC. Jake was still stuck in that area and didn't get out of it, which was his problem. And then the other Nancy was just blending into the forest. Trust me, you didn't really have good survivors to go against. Does he run anything different? Does he still run the same build? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's doing... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, please get no ed. You don't get no ed. Oh my god. Okay, watch this. This is for any survivors or any killers that are brand new to this game that are jumping in. This is what you should not be doing when you're in the blood web. I'll explain why in a moment. Watch what he does. Okay, this is this is not good. He's getting add-ons and items instead of perks. The problem that you have that comes up with this situation is this. Once you unlock these perks if you get an opportunity to unlock another perk that means that there's one less spot that takes up for a perk and gives you another chance at getting one of these eerie add-ons or one of these purple add-ons or one of these green add-ons or or abilities like you have bamboozle but you lost monstrous shrine you could easily gotten no way there probably was another perk up here somewhere but you could have easily gotten no way but you didn't so this isn't this isn't like fuck xqc kind of thing this isn't it's just more of like Focus on what perks you want to get first. So so it is lame. It is lame. But the problem is, is that you want to get that out of the way. Get the perks out of the way so you can get better add-ons. So like right now, he could have done one, two, three, four entity spawns. He gets bamboozle. Monsters gets taken. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Boom. You get your perks. Now he's getting add-ons to, to better his games, which is fine. But it would be better to get the perks first. Chat, what would you even replace... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what he has right now. 
there's not many perks, but we can try and work with something here. Um, oh, perfect. You want to keep your Huntress Lullaby? Fine. Put this right here. Thrill of the Hunt. You want to get some good information on somebody? Hunt, Thrill of the Hunt will inform you when someone's on a totem. That right there would be perfect if you want to run Huntress. It would be perfect. Or it's good for information. Even if you feel it upgrade great, your do not look at it. Uh, you have time upgrade your uh, upgrade your barbecue upgrade your barbecue you have time upgrade your barbecue upgrade your barbecue no upgrade your What do you mean by good survivors what do you mean by that you mean uh, rich survivors people that have all the ranks all the levels and all the fucking blood webs or whatever the fuck and have insane uh, fucking points you don't need points. It's not about points. I can, I could probably, I could probably run zero app, zero perks, zero items on him and probably still survive because it's not about, it's not about the perks that you have. It's about the, I, it's, it's, it's about the ways that you run around a killer. So for example, if I'm going against, um, if I'm going against a hillbilly, I do not just run straight forward because a hillbilly will run straight forward and hit me, right? With Huntress, I do not run straight forward because a Huntress will hit me. I need to run left and right. I need to go around buildings. I need to have tree line in front of me. I need to distract him with all of this stuff in front of him so he doesn't hit me with a hatchet. If I see him try and throw one way, I go the opposite direction. If I see him trying to throw over like a box while we're in a loop, I duck down. I do not put myself in a position that gets him to hit me with a hatchet. If if he throw if he picks a hatchet up while I've got the pallet still up there, I don't throw the pallet down because that animation puts me in a position where he can hit me with a hatchet. Nobody's a good survivor. They're all dog shit. That's not true. They just rush Jen with insane perks and they have eight lives, borrowed time, decided to strike, bullshit dead hard. It's just, it's just, it's yes, that does suck. The meta sucks. I agree with you. But you can easily counter the meta. Borrow time? Who, who, who's the per who would be the person that has to borrow time? Go after them first. Dead hard. Hold your hatchet up. Wait for them to do something or just chase right behind them. Wait for that moment for them to use their dead heart. They lost their dead heart. Decisive strike. Don't tunnel somebody. Don't sit there for, for a minute either. Go for somebody else. Use them as bait. Like, there's ways that you can counter these, these, these perks. There are ways that you can counter them. So for him to say that does not help him in this situation. It, it's cringe. They have cringe, cringe ass perks, man. Anyone that plays both killer and survivors knows this. I play both of them and I know this. All right, let's watch this game. I'm going to pause in any situation that happens. This is going to be an interesting fight. He sees somebody already, so he's going to try and go for a throw. Doesn't go for it. Interesting. I would have gone for it. You have five hatchets. Sacrifice one. See? Immediately just moves back. She didn't need a perk for that. I'm just like. He's going to go for the guy that's not even... That's fine. Go for the person that's AFK. Whatever. He can hear her. Nice. Nice. What is happening? What is happening? Nice. He's going to go for the Elodie. She missed. He missed. Dead hard. Nice. Nice. He... So, so right here, okay, right here, this is th three hatchets miss, but one of them shouldn't. One, miss, because you went right. Another one, she ran for dead hard immediately, so that should have missed it all. What? Third one, he hits, he hits the fence, he hits the fence, that's the problem. He's going to still chase her, he's got no zero hatchets now, he doesn't have a way to get them out. Nice swing. Almost got her. This is where he could get her. Oh, Jesus. Just swings right through it. She is not giving a fuck. Yep, yep. Nice. So quick, I don't get it. That was good. That was good. He. This is, this is the good part right here. He puts her in an uncomfortable position by f having her face the wall. So she has to go the opposite direction. Now, now she's in the open. But there's a pallet right here. 
But this gets... Oh, dude, she's not respecting it. Get her. She's not respecting it, bro. Oh, man. One gen down. How? It's a quack! Let's 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 figure this out, shall we? So they're going to this next. So they're going to this next loop. He's hugging it. He's hugging it. He can get her. He can get her in this situation. But there's moments where you see where he's kind of he's kind of like pushing himself into the actual uh, carriage itself, which gives him less less mobility. It gives him a less chance to actually get the hit. And instead of continuing through, he tries to go around, which is fine. But at this point, he loses his bloodlust. He had bloodlust. He lost it. He could have kept the bloodlust and we just went around it even more. Iron Maiden would have solved, would have solved this whole problem and would have saved him this whole situation. I'm just saying, Iron Maiden would help you as a as a huntress. <clears throat> just swings right over. What? Damn, Ace fucking Ace fucking stayed there to to stun you. There's a boon up. Or she used that med kit while she was gone. They don't need to worry about Huntress Lullaby right now while he's got this. They're not going to jump down. They're not going to drop down. He's going to protect himself with that. With... Okay, this is a huge situation right here, right? He's got Elodie behind him. He's got the ace in the front. He can see the Nia that is working on the generator right now. So what is he going to do? He's going to switch targets to go to Nia. But instead of going up to put her in an uncomfortable situation by dropping down so she, he can throw hatches from above. He stays underneath to try and get under into this, into this noose crevice and then backs up to let her get covered by the gen. He doesn't actually go up there to give her the disadvantage. He's giving himself the disadvantage and throws and doesn't hit anything. Has one hatchet left. And gets blinded. This is why Iron Maiden would help him so much. Nice hit. Good hit. Good hit. Don't fo don't follow it up with it that, that that quickly. You know that he's got. All right, hatchet, hatchet. Oh, dude. What? Oh, just barely, just barely on the outside of it. Nice. Guys, there you go. There you go. There you go. Why are you so insanely quick? Oh, dude. Oh, God. Oh, that hurts to watch. Oh, that hurts to watch. He doesn't have infectious fright, so it doesn't help him in this situation. But fuck, does that suck? It has happened to me multiple times. I get I get a survivor up on my shoulders as Wraith, and a pallet stuns me, or a flashlight stuns me. God, this is awful. This is just cringe. Actual cringe. Legitimate That's so unfortunate. Actually cringe. He's tilted at this point. He went to the right. Yep. He's gonna drop pallet on you. That's where. That's where you pick the hatchet up. He's gonna blind you again. Damn, he's got Iron Will too, doesn't he? I thought you were the gaming golem not missing Marvin Pepe laugh. And it doesn't help that chat is fucking him up right now in chat. Yeah, it's over, isn't it? Sometimes I be horny while having a major headache, so I jack off, but every stroke makes the headache increase tenfold. But I can't stop because I need to nut, and when I finish, I'm just lying there like a car crash victim. He left. He left that situation. That ace left. Damn. He's in a really bad spot. 
Like he's Actually not gonna. On Discord, legitimately cringe. This is not good. Nice, nice. You're not gonna go for her. She left. They're ma they're using their macros. Oh, what a fucking bunch of bricks. They're gonna go into. Stop! Don't don't fall for the trap! Oh my god, dude! When someone clicks at you, this is for all of my killer killer mains out there. This is for all my brand new killer mains that are just getting this game and playing. If you see a survivor clicking at you like that, they know you're tilted. They're trying to make it worse. Okay, don't ever, I don't, don't ever, ever, ever go against somebody that clicks at you like that. Leave them alone. Let them click away. Let them waste their battery. Go after the survivors that you just hit with your hatchet. Do not go against this ace because this ace wants all the smoke, literally all the smoke. And you're wasting your time because the Elodi and the Nia are both injured and you're going to lose that that momentum you're gonna lose it by going after this ace even if you oh, hit him for now. you got three people injured no one hooked one gen left you're wasting your momentum he wants to smoke what you put your hatchet away what he's gonna he's gonna attack you oh he didn't attack you wow interesting i would attack you I would have see like now you've got the other Nia here what? covering you. They are fucking toxic. You're trying to hit him through. Oh my God. This whole thing's a mess. He swings and misses. The Nia's right there. That Nia was the one that he just like that just attacked him and that and that he just attacked and now is healed. Misses because he hits the he hits the he hits the carriage. Misses what? her because he wasn't close enough. Doesn't go for her to injure her, but misses a swing on the ace. Puts himself into this awkward corner to to throw a hatchet. Hits the wall. Tries to swing here, hits the fence, doesn't hit him. You don't go over the fence. You can't. You could go over the window, but not over the fence. Just, bis just misses. He gets the fucking pallet tech. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, nothing pisses me off more. Nothing pisses me off more when I go for a swing on a pallet and the pallet favors the survivor. I fucking hit the hit, the hit validation. It should go for killers only. It should not go for fucking survivors. I'm sorry. Dead heart too. Like, if I hit you before you hit your dead heart, sorry, you don't get it. Like, I'm serious. Like, it doesn't work that way. It's a killer. It's, a, it's supposed to be killer sided, not survivor sided. That's fucking shit. He's so mad. He's so pissed. He has zero hatchets. He's just gonna... He's just gonna swing all the way through. He's just gonna slide on every pallet and window and click up the fuck away while they're getting the doors 99. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, and he's still swinging. And then he goes for hatches. Don't go for the hatchet at this point. You just keep going. You're gonna lose your bloodlust. Oh my God. You're gonna lose your bloodlust. You lost your bloodlust. He's gone now. Where's the ace now? Where's the ace? The ace is gone. The ace is gone. You just lost the ace. You lost the Actual ace. You lost your bloodlust so just to get your hatchets. You should have just kept going with the rotation and not swing when he's when he's going on pallets. Oh god, dude. Now they're just memeing. He's fully healed. This is over. This is GG's. This is GG's. This is GG's. They're f Are you fucking serious? Do you see this dog shit?
Like, do you guys see this shit? You're fucking kidding me, right? Look at this freeze frame. You've got the, the fucking Nia's here. And the ace is right behind the play button. Click into the sky. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Look at this shit. I'm going to put it in slow motion for you guys. You guys got... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Cracks open. You see him. Their pallet, their pallet sliding. You see the Nia. He doesn't go that direction. He goes around for some reason. And then he's trying to signal for fucking Batman to help come save XQC from this torment. Jesus Christ. He hits the ace at least. There you go. Okay. This is his first hook. The greatest part about this is him talking about there isn't good, uh, uh there aren't good enough survivors that just pay to win. He's fuck, they're fucking body blocking him. Oh my fucking, oh my god, they're body blocking him. Oh dude, oh dude, oh dude, this is over, this is over. They're, he's not going to a different, oh dude. You're not gonna swing? There you go, there you go. Barrel stuff him, barrel stuff him. Go for the hatch again. Dude, no, you're putting yourself in. Oh, God. This isn't good. She's body blocking you. Oh, my God, dude. And he's still clicking. Are you fucking serious? He dead hearts through it. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, my God. Please get please get the hook. Please, for the uh, love of God. It's, 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 please. Like, what can you do against that? Please get the hook. Why aren't you swinging? Swing! Thank you! You swing through them! Some people don't swing because of breakout? Fuck breakout! You've got... He doesn't need it right now because he's got iron grasp and a fucking dream. This guy, like XQC, this guy, he needs to get something done. He literally has nobody right now hooked. Zero people have been hooked except for this one time. And the, 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 the exit gates are ready to get opened. They're literally just fucking with him at this point. Three free hits, gets them away for a minute. They're already healed because the boon's up. They literally said, fuck you, XQC. We can do this all day. No way the ace comes up. Super fun okay. To try it. XQC, L -L 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 -L. Oh, it's actual dog shit. We played it. Get the hook. Get, get, your, get your fucking hatchets. Get your hatchets right now. You need... Why didn't you go the op the other way? Okay, look at this right now. I'm going to put it on 0.5 so you can see this. Tell me. I want you to tell me what you see. Okay? Tell me what you see. I'm going to give it to you. I'll give you the answer for free in just a moment. All right? Watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right there. What, do you, what did you see? What did you see? The Nia is literally right here. Right fucking here. He sees the Nia on the left side of the hook. Okay? The left side of it. Where does he go? He goes right. He goes right. How could this, happen to me? this is XQC right now. That's XQC. This is XQC right here. Right now. He goes right. Why are you going right when you know that she's left? Makes no sense to me. The unhook happens. You can hear them going left. You see them going right. Okay. She takes this. She takes a swing. She, you missed the swing. She dead hearts through it. You can swing it. Oh god, you're just swinging. You're just swinging wide, aren't you? Everyone's injured except for the ace. He's gonna take a hit. Don't go for the ace. 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 Swing at him. 
They're, they're healing so fast. The boon totem is still up. They're going so fast with the heals. Uh, Holy like shit. Hits that they have to give them before they have to go down. The boon's up. You're in their, you're in their world right now. This is not XQC's Huntress Land. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Get reload on hatchets. Reload on hatchets. Like this is just this is a disaster. Like I actually 80 hits per, 80 hits per kill. How could this happen to me? He's about to get fucking tacked the fuck out with this flashlight. He's about to fucking freak. I can see it. I can see it. And just lost her. She's gonna open the door. And dead. Oh my god. She dead hearts to it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was gross. Oh my god, that was gross. Like I actually 80 hits per 80 hits per kill. One. Two. Three terrible things to happen to XQC at once. Four. She has bar time. What the fuck? You, no, what are you doing? Push them out. You gotta push them out. You didn't even hit her. Why why are you not hitting her? She's got dead hard. Bitch ass motherfucker. Dude, this is literally okay. This is literally. This is li <laughs> this is literally. How could this happen to me? This is XQC again. <laughs> this is literally the, the worst game for someone I've ever seen. It's a killer. Oh my god. This doesn't happen once. This happens. I think this happened. This is the third time or something like that. That he just gets fucked. Like how? They're fucking toying with him. Oh my god. Ace still wants to smoke. He still wants to smoke. Are you kidding me? Get this man a light board. Oh my fuck. This is this is awful. They all oh, Jesus Christ. Like guys, guys, they're on Discord. They're, they're literally on Discord. They're, they're actually fucking cheating the fucking game. It's, so, it's, it's not cheating the game to be on Discord and have a swift. It really isn't. And also, you've seen me. You see me a fucking eviscerate people that were on Discord. You see me eviscerate people today that were a Swift. Like, d d Discord doesn't change your play style. It also doesn't change the situation that you've been put in. Look at oh, these. Oh, look at these perks that they have. Nice Discord usage dip. Well done, friend. God, he didn't even. Okay. Look at this. He had Medal of Man. Look at this. Saboteur, Oppression, Boon, Healing, Circle of Healing, Medal of Man. Bro, fake the pickup. Yeah, fake the pickup after getting wrecked by a flashlight three times in five minutes. Yes, fake the fucking pickup. Fake the pickup. Console players bodied him. They bodied him. And it's like, like the, the point system, it's pretty even, right? Point system is pretty even. It'd be 32 straight for him if he was just getting, if he was getting actual hooks in. He got maybe two of them. But Jesus Christ. Like, look at these, look at these builds, though. These builds are fucking atrocious.
These are the worst fucking builds of survivors I've ever seen. Like, what is this? What literally? What the fuck is this build? What the fuck is this build? This is the this the the meta. This is like half meta because you got resilience, spine chill combines with dead hard. This is still kind of meta. This is pure meta right here. Pure meta. This is awful. And that's the ace. And then whoever else was up here, I don't know what they had, but Jesus Christ. Oh God, poor XQC. This guy is this guy. This guy actually can't play the game properly, so he queues with lower ranked players. Event. It's not okay. He he doesn't know. Event first skid add on event. This is. That's 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 an event thing. It's fine. He finally got some common players and rage quits. Right. Press the secondary action while healing the medkit to use the refined serum. Increase the speed of the survivor fight by 5%. So it's basically like hope for 20 seconds. Creates a blight trail behind the survivor, consumes a medkit on use. They still had their medkit, so he didn't consume it at all. Like it didn't happen. It didn't happen. But, 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 but here's the funny thing, okay? We've been complaining about this since fucking day one. Hercules, by the way, I love you. Hi. MMR is dog shit in this game. Rank does not mean anything in this game. XQC could be Eerie 1 and still play like this, and that's who he is. It's just not, that's just not how it works. You can be Eerie 1 and still be awful. You can be Ash 4 and fucking God tier. I've done it before. It's not that hard. But, like, holy shit. He was given the fucking, the, the fucking beating of a lifetime. They literally said to him, welcome to our world. Broken ass, I, what even is this? And there you have it. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you want to see my version of Huntress, it's a little rusty, but I can show it to you if you leave a like. Come follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrFinnymore, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon.